What's going on YouTube? I'm E and this is Simply Put Sims. I'm blind. <laughs> nah, I seriously can't see. I can't see a thing. Anyway, what's going on guys? Your votes have been counted, your voice has been heard, and the results are in. 16 of some of the best fragrances that represent the 2000s went toe to toe. You ain't lying. The Sweet 16 round is over and eight fragrances remain in this year's second annual Simply Put Sense Fragrance Tournament. Man guys, I'm really, really blown away by these results and I think you will be too. This year's results were insane. Insane. There were upsets, blowouts, wire to wire finishes. It was an awesome display. And I really wanna thank all of you so much for being a part of it. We had 155 different voters voting this time. And I just wanna thank you all so much for all of your participation. You guys are my ride or die and I really appreciate you. Thanks. I really also wanna thank the fragrance reviewers for being a part also. I got 15 different fragrance reviewers. Check this lineup out. Some of the best. To submit brackets in their quest to predict what you guys would have chosen, it was a bloodbath. So real quick, I wanted to remind you guys what last week's brackets looked like. Here we go. Ta-da! So as you can see, guys, these were some amazing matchups between some of the best designer fragrances of the 2000s. So without any hesitation, guys, let's just find out the results and see who's moving on to the Elite Eight. In the Cold Weather Conference's Winter Division, we saw the Battle of the Dior's, Parfum versus Intense, to see which scent moves on to the Winter Division Championships. This was nip and tuck all the way through. Dior Homme Intense jumped out to a huge lead but Parfum actually overtook the lead down the line. Just eked out the win with the score of 74 to 79. Dior Own in Tons will be moving on to the Winter Division Championship. And what fragrance will DHI be taking on in the Winter Division Championships? Well, it was between Mugler's Pure Malt and Valentino's Yomo in Tons. One more intense and pure malt went toe to toe in what can only be described as the battle of the height. Both scents proved time and time again though that they're worthy of it and this matchup showed that. It was a nail biter between these two and with the score of 80 to 72, pure malt takes it and will go on to the winter division championship to take on DHI. Now that we know what the winter division looks like, let's see how the fall division shapes up. We had Chanel Allure on Sport or Extreme taking on Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Mall. Chanel's O Extreme started off with a bang and while Ultra Mall put up a great effort, Chanel was just too dominant this year and took it with the score of 87 to 65 to advance on to the full you championship win. round. And it will be taking on the victor between La Nuit versus Dolce and Gabbana's The One Eau de Parfum. I call this bracket the old sexy versus new sexy. Okay, La Nuit is not really that old, but you get the idea. Last year, La Nuit was knocked out by last year's champions, Dior Homme Intense. So it was out for blood versus The One EDP. Would La Nuit be knocked out early for the second straight year? Or would newcomer, the one EDP, take the win between these two sexy fragrances? With the score of 81 to 73, the one sends La Nuit packing for the second straight year in the Sweet 16 round. Poor, poor La Nuit. That was a tough loss, guys. But now we know the other piece to the four division puzzle as Dolce and Gabbana's The One Eau de Parfum will go to war with Chanel Allure's Own Sport Eau Extreme 
for the full division championship. Whew. Now as the Fragos heats up, we move on to the warm weather conferences spring division to find out the outcome of one of the more highly anticipated matchups of the tournament, bar none, as Sauvage collided with Chanel's Bleu de Chanel. Consider the battle of the best sellers or the generic bowl, these two titans went at it to find out which fan favorite was most favored in this year's Frag Offs. <laughs> Say that five times in a row. It was a very tight affair, and with the score of 78 to 75, Blair de Chanel loses to Savage, and Savage will move on to the Spring Division Championship. <laughs> I'm in a glass case of emotion. In the second Spring Division game, Hermès, Terre d'Hermès, Eau de Parfum mixed it up against Mugler's Ultra Zest to see who would win the Orange Bowl and take on Savage next week in the Spring Division Championships. Would the serious, more mature Terre d'Hermès, Eau de Parfum take out the more playful counterpart? Well guys, with the score of 77 to 72, Ultra Zest advances to the Spring Division Championship where it will go against Savage. Finally, in the Summer Division, we had an epic office fragrance bracket between Armani's Aqua de Gio Profumo and Tom Ford Grey Vetiver Eau de Parfum. Grey Vetiver put up a tough fight, guys, but it just wasn't enough as Aqua de Gio Profumo went wire to wire in a very decisive victory with the score of 88 to 63. Profumo advances to the Summer Division Championship where it will face the winner between the light likable bowl, YSL's Loam and Paco Rabanne's Invictus Aqua. This was another extremely close affair as there was no quit in either scent. Pushing each other to the limit with the score of 79 to 74. Invictus Aqua moves on to the Summer Division Championships and will take on Aqua de Gio Profumo to decide the Summer Division winner. Outrageous, guys. <laughs> So there you have it, you have spoken, and here are your Elite Eight and what your next week brackets will look like. For the Winter Division Championship round next week, we have Dior Ohm Intense versus Thierry Mugler's Pure Malt in a rematch of last year's Winter Division Championships. Now we all know how that one turned out, but it will be really interesting to see if Lightning will strike twice or if Mugler will get his revenge and move on to the cold weather conference finals. Now for the fall division, we have Chanel Allure Ohm Sport, Eau Extreme, versus Dolce & Gabbana's The One Eau de Parfum. That will be a real interesting pairing, guys, and I can't wait to see who you choose between those two scents. We have Dior Sauvage taking on Ultra Zest, by Thierry Mugler. And in the summer division, we have Aqua de Gio Profumo versus Invictus Aqua to decide the summer division championship. So that's it guys, boom. Which four fragrances out of these eight will move on to next week's final four? Those are your choices, my friends. Now the votes for next week's final four must begin by next week Friday to count for next week Sunday's results. I'm really, really curious to see which four fragrances you'll choose out of these eight. Wow, I was shocked by a few losses. Honestly, I didn't think DHI was gonna beat Dior Own Parfum. I didn't think Invictus Aqua was gonna be Lone by YSL. And I honestly didn't think Great Vetiver was gonna lose to Aqua de Gio Profumo. But man, I was completely wrong. <laughs> so guys, <laughs> 
Were you as surprised as I was at some of these results? Yeah. I mean, Blood A. Chanel literally lost by only three points. And it were other close ones, too. I mean, man, completely, completely floored me. You guys are doing awesome so far, and I really want to thank you all for your participation again. And I really, really hope you guys keep it up and continue to participate and vote in this week's Elite 8 results. It would be an honor to have more of you involved. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think of the results. Let me know what your choices for next week's Final Four round will be. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't to Simply Put Sense and like this video if you appreciated it. I really worked hard for you guys. I'll continue to work hard for you guys. It is what it is. I'm E, and this is Simply Put Sense. And I'm Simply O-U-T. Peace. The fragrance that I'll be discussing today is called Zara 9.0. And this fragrance is highly compared to this fragrance by Christian Dior. Yeah. <laughs> Should it be a fair fight? Probably not. Which fragrance is better? Hmm. About to find out. <laughs>